So now that everything's been cold peeled, now we're just doing our post press. So this is where your production can get really fast with threadability, because all we need to do is just tack this down. You're, per you're kind of sealing the deal and you're adding a little bit of texture with your Teflon sheet or silicone pad, whatever you decide to use. Great thing is we're gonna slide it back, we're gonna spin it, put it back down. Boom, good to go. You pull it out, you flip it down on the table and you're done. That's it, you grab it here, shake it off, lay it flat on the table, grab your next shirt, same process. So threadability, it adds production value to your time. Again, I just don't know why in this day and age, heat press companies are not doing this. If anything, just create a custom stand for your heat press and call it a day. But they need to start understanding that they need to make things a little bit more efficient for you, the business owner. Stalls has thought of that. That's excellent. And there's other heat presses that have it, but typically you're not going to see it until you get to the more expensive heat presses. Thus, why the TransPro Plus, in my opinion, for the budget, is a fantastic option because it's semi-threadable. Now, not to say that you can't maybe do this with other heat presses that don't have it. This just makes production fast, again, because I can get this wrapped around and I'm not hitting this a second time or anything else. You know what I mean? You can see what's happening here. You can see how efficient and you can see how I'm not, if I didn't have threadability and I had to hit this top, well, then I'd have to lay that print down like this and then hit it. And then I've got to flip it over and then do it again and then hit that. So I don't want to double hit this because then that can overcook it, so to speak, or it can just give it too much time, time that it really doesn't need. Okay. Certain transfers are very specific with how much time and how much pressure they need. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to underdo it either. But again, very simple, spin, go, bottom transfer is not being affected, single layer, it's getting direct contact to the mat, so it's good. That bottom platen is hot, so it's getting that contact there and it's getting the contact from the top. This is how you can create good production in your studio, in your area of where you're working. Okay guys? So that's it. That's how simple it is.